But of all the attacks from atheists and agnostics, there's one that no believer can hide from. My next guest is the historian and chair of the Human Fertilization and Embryology Authority, Professor Lisa Jardine. She's the eldest child of the late academic, Jacob Bronowski, presenter of the television series The Ascent of Man, a Polish Jew who lost many relatives in the Second World War. Lisa poses the hardest question of all, why God allows suffering. I think that World War II was more of a watershed for Judaism than perhaps Judaism is prepared to admit. What I learned from my father is he combined two fundamental beliefs. Optimism for the human race, which is there in that Ascent of Man title, and remorse for what on both sides had been perpetrated in World War II. He was sent into Hiroshima and Nagasaki three months after the bombs were dropped as part of a fact-finding mission. Now, as chief rabbi, how did the faithful community respond to not just what was perpetrated on the Jewish people, but, but also what was perpetrated on 80,000 Japanese in three seconds? We are there, if ever there is a problem with a clinic or a problem with treatment, it is we to whom the clinician or the patient will come in order to sort out that problem. So I'm talking about Ren's early years, and I will actually give you um, my conclusions before I start, because I think it's always helpful when you're listening to a paper, um, which is that um, uh, I got allocated Christopher Wren, Mike got allocated um, uh, Robert Hooke, uh, Michael Hunter could have got allocated Robert Boyle. But, but my argument is going to be, and it's in line with Michael Hunter's very nice paper this morning, that what particularly the scientists in the room should be listening for is that this is the period in which the methodologies and technologies of modern science emerged. <laughs>